Hello, and welcome to the Gypsy Nurses Fall 22 Virtual Conference. We are so happy you could join us yet again for another educational yet fun few days. This year, we will be focusing on a new season of travel nursing. We will have nine travel healthcare industry experts giving their insights and advice on how you can turn a new leaf in travel nursing, whether you're new to the adventure or have hiked a mountain in two of the assignments already. All of these sessions will be on demand on the gypsynurse.com. You can find these events by coming up to the event tab and clicking on on demand events. So you can watch this any place, anytime, any assignment, any location, they will be there for you. While you're at the gypsynurse.com, be sure to become a registered member and join our online community where when you sign up, you'll be able to sign up for job alerts, content alerts, and even event alerts, as well as receive discounts on CEUs, car rentals, and on the infamous TravCon 2023 tickets, which don't forget to save the date for next year's largest in-person travel healthcare conference in beautiful Las Vegas, September 17th through the 20th, 2023 at the Paris. We hope to see most of you that are watching in person next year so that way we can put some faces to some names and get to really know our community in person. We'd also like to thank our sponsor, Nurse First, for being this year's virtual conference sponsor. We would like to take a minute to learn a little bit more about Nurse First, so enjoy. Nurse First is a travel staffing agency that is focused on putting nurses first so nurses can focus on what matters most. Nurse First is different because the agency is founded and staffed by former nurses so they know what you need. They are committed to creating a culture of agency with nurse, not agency versus nurse. Nurse First takes you where you want to go in your life and career. How? Nurse First promotes trusting partnerships among travelers and staff through genuine advocacy and transparency. This means telling you everything, even the information you didn't know you needed. With a team dedicated to advocating for nurses, travelers can find success anywhere they go and the assignments of their dreams. Nurse First Travel Agency founder and CEO, Jeremy Camiso, is our conference keynote speaker this year because Nurse First is leading the change for a positive employment culture for travel nurses. Nurse First encourages travel nurses to take charge of their own work schedule to best fit their lifestyle and family needs. Nurse First turns travel nurse staffing opportunities into incredible employment experiences. Learn more about this travel agency at nursefirsttravel.com. All right, and now without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the last session of our fall 2022 virtual conference. And what better way to end it with some spooky, boozy, doozy drinks? That's right, we're ending the conference with a happy hour and a familiar face. Uh, please welcome mixologist Daniel Coffey as he demonstrates how to make holiday cocktails for the fall season. Hi, Daniel, thank you so much for joining us again. We appreciate it. No problem at all. I had such fun last time, and I appreciate y'all reaching back out to me for this time around. I got uh, two drinks for you guys, uh, the embalming fluid, and then we have a surprise drink at the end afterwards, okay? Awesome. I'm excited. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go ahead and get things started. As y'all can see, I have my Michael Myers shirt on because if y'all didn't know, Halloween ends does come out this weekend. So it's the third of the trilogy from Blumhouse uh, for the remake for Michael Myers or Halloween franchise. So if y'all into that, uh, definitely follow my page. I actually do movie reviews as well. So um, not only do I do drinks, but I do movie reviews to match up with them. So it's actually pretty cool. All right. Let's get to this embalming fluid. <clears throat> now, last time I made you all a smoothie and like two other drinks, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe that's what I made for you all last time. Yep, yep. So that's delicious. <laughs> so first thing first, we're gonna get our shaker here. We're gonna go ahead and add some ice to it. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some blue Carrasso in it. This is uh, basically a blue uh, flavoring mixer. It's really good. It's a liqueur in most stores, but you can actually get it as just pure syrup as well, just in case you want to make something for the kids. It's actually a little a pretty blue color, as you can see right here. Going to mix that in. Next, we're going to go ahead and get our rum. Oh, I like know. to use white rum, but <laughs> but for this one, I just want to do the white rum with no flavoring because it's already a pretty sweet drink. So going to add that in. As you guys can see, I do a lot of flavoring because uh, once you get your time, you need to use the jitter every single time. So it, it saves on time. Next, we're going to put in some sour pucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the green apple kind and it's going to give it a nice little color change once we see it in the in the actual cup and the last oh, did you come up with this thing one? actually i actually seen this this is my own rendition of it but i actually seen this one and i just kind of like the color that it came out so i kind of stole it <laughs> as most of us do <laughs> and we just kind of add or subtract uh flavors like uh, a lot of times whenever something calls for coconut rum i just do not like the overpowering taste of coconut so mm -hmm. i'll use a different flavored rum or i'll just use a flat rum like uh, we just use here just to kind of make the taste a little better for me and most of the times it works out better yeah and i'm getting kind of tired of the coconut taste so that's a good solid choice <laughs> <laughs> And a lot of times you ha you have to make those distinctions because, you know, you never know, especially at different parties. And, you know, when you serve in bars, kind of tell people what's in the drinks because you never know what they may be allergic to. So, okay. you know, if somebody's allergic to something. Hey, I can switch this out for a different syrup, you know, so that way, you know, they can still enjoy the drink. We're going to shake our shaker here. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> It's that pretty, pretty color, as y'all can see. Uh -huh. That is pretty. <laughs> and um, like I said before, because it is such a sweeter, it's, it's such a sweet drink with the pineapple juice. Uh, I, you can, I put in there that you can use Sprite. And for people that like the sweeter drinks, you can use Sprite. But me, I'm just going to use the tonic water because it still gives you that sparkling taste without the sugar. Oh, nice. And if you're trying to watch your calories, this is a good way to do that, too. <laughs> but as y'all can see, it is a really pretty looking color right there. And we're going to have a sip and see what it tastes like. It's really good. It's actually really good. And this is my first time trying this, guys. So really no bad faces you have you ever had that um drink and you're like ah, nah, nah. <laughs> i'm not feeling it no bad faces I'm, or anything here it's really good now i'm terrible at um picking out drinks my friends always make fun of me because i always see one ingredient that i'm like oh yeah cane sugar looks good but like everything else that's in there is like absolutely disgusting so i'm like always making the face i'm never good at picking my drinks so Usually they pick them for me, but that one looks delicious. <laughs> the best way to pick your drink, though, is to find a liquor that you like and start there. Mm -hmm. Just start there. Um, me personally, uh, I don't take shots often, but if it's a drink, as if it's a liquor that you can take a shot of and not completely be grossed out, start with that on the, yeah. on the menu and then go from there. Everything else will make sense afterwards. <laughs> Unless you have a terrible bartender. <laughs> Unless you have a terrible bartender. So, all right. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, this next drink we're going to make is actually going to be called the Johnny ba Blaze, a.k.a. the Ghost Rider. And I'm making this drink with this gold cup here. Nice. And I'm making this because, um, again, I am a movie and show expert. I've watched uh, a lot of stuff. And they just came out with this show called Werewolf by Night. And I think they're going to be actually bringing back the Ghost Rider. If you've ever seen that old Johnny, um, uh, uh, Nicolas Cage movie, mm -hmm. he was, it was okay at best, but it did introduce us to Ghost Rider. And then they reintroduced him in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So we're going to make this one because I just love this glass. It, somebody got this one for me and I love this glass, especially for Halloween. So what we're going to do is actually put some ice in here as well. 
Now, this one is a, a little bit of a stronger drink. So uh, a lot of times when I make uh, stronger drinks with a, a little bit of a stronger liquor, I actually do, to balance it out, make a, make it a little bit sweeter, the ingredients itself. And it doesn't end up being too sweet because the liquor itself is so strong. So it, it works out. All right. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a hurricane mix. Now, you can buy it already mixed together in bottles like this. Or you can buy the uh, powder. And a lot of people like using the powder because they try to make their own genuine hurricane mix that came from Louisiana. So some people know. use the powder. I didn't even know that yeah. was <laughs> <laughs> so We're going to add that first. <clears throat> then we're going to add our secret ingredient, our voodoo Mountain Dew. This is a new flavor from Mountain Dew. They have been going crazy with the yeah. flavors. And... A lot of them are hidden. I like the sparkling raspberry lemonade. Try that if you haven't. But this one is, again, this is the first for me, guys. So here we go. And it's a mystery flavor, so it's actually clear. Really? Yeah. You you've never had that drink then? The Mountain I've Dew. never had. The, this Mountain Dew I have never tried. So we are tying this together. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell by the and face. Then, <laughs> right, right, right. Absolutely. <laughs> And now we're going to add a little bit of Sunny D in here. And it, Sunny D is a great cutter. If you're uh, if you're ever a mixologist or you ever make a drink for a party, you're like, ah, oh, I made this disgusting. Get you some Sunny D, throw it in there, and normally it'll fix the issue because it's a great cutter. It is delicious in its own. <laughs> <laughs> And as y'all can see, I'm kind of layering the colors, as you can see here. Oh, very I cool. know, right? <laughs> very cool. So, I do what I can. I do what I can. Do you have to use a special <clears throat> technique to make it layered like that, or is it just the... You have to, you have to know the weight. It's, 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 it's all about uh, consistency of the drink, because it's not easy to layer, mm -hmm. especially when you're free pouring. Uh, I know I've seen a lot of bartenders do the rainbow shots and stuff like that, and they're yeah. they're pretty experienced. And I have yet to get there right. It always blends like two or three of my colors, but I'm I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying here. So uh, yeah, we're gonna actually add a little bit of blue caruso all over the top here. Nice. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like here in a second, but it's gonna look out, out absolutely awesome here. Oh, very cool. And so that's, that's how you layer it right there. And so now we're going to get to the big stuff because uh, I'm going to take a picture of these guys <laughs> before I mix it all together. But um, what we're going to do is add the big uh, big things here as far as the liquor is concerned. And uh, we're going to actually add some Jameson, which is a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you're a whiskey drinker, it's actually a really good whiskey. We're going to add about an ounce. There we go. I changed <laughs> a little bit. Yep. And then what we're going to do here is add a little bit of Everclear. Now, we're not going to add a lot, but you'll see why here in a second, why we're going to add the Everclear. All right. Uh, Everclear is actually one of the strongest liquors you can get. It's uh, 151 proof. Oh, wow. So it's one of the, yeah. So it's one of the strongest things you can get on the market uh, without causing kidney failure instantly. <laughs> nice. All right. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody ever offers you Everclear, just be like, eh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> like, yeah, guys, I want to have fun, but I don't know about that one. <gasps> Oh, Why is it nice? <laughs> I, I like I like to give good advice. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Come on. There we go. And now oh. we have the Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh. So, so I have that. To yeah, you could do this at parties or anything like that. It's like one of the best, one of the best party tricks ever, and that's why we add the Everclear so we can actually light it on fire. 
Gotcha. And so do you have to wait until it goes out to drink it? <laughs> oh, yeah, you blow it out. You definitely blow it out. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely going to want to blow that out. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> now, I made uh, one drink when I did a review for uh, Godzilla when it first came out. See, now it I actually went out by itself. Now we're going to mix it together because right now all the liquor's on the top. So you're going to be like, oh, this is really good. And then get to the bottom and be like, ah, uh-uh. <laughs> so we're going to mix it together. Uh, but, yeah, I definitely wanted y'all to get a look at the uh, different layers and stuff, how, oh, how it actually works. So it looks actually awesome. Like an actual flame. How yeah. Cool. Did you come up with this one on your own or did you find it? Um, now, this one, this, one, this one is mine. This one is mine. Nice. So... I always give y'all a, a, a one that I I personally like or I personally made. I gave y'all one last year. I remember, uh, but I couldn't remember the name of it. I had I have it in my notes. But I couldn't remember the name of it, but I made that one up too. But this one is actually really good. And that's your first time trying this one. This is my first time trying this one as well. I had the layering down, but I didn't know exactly how it was going to taste with the liquor. But yeah, yeah, in order to get the actual layering down, you have to know which drink or which juice is lighter because okay. what it'll end up doing is it'll drop through <laughs> and then you'll gotcha. end up with the colors mixing and it doesn't look as good but the uh addition of the mountain dew kind of kind of cleared up that orange so we can actually get it to layer correct nice. so, yep cool. that's how you make those two drinks so yep the embalming fluid here and then we got the johnny blaze here this is actually really like i said both drinks are really good and I'm trying it with both. I'm trying both with y'all at the same time. Well, they both look so delicious. I wish I could have <laughs> them. And I know you're a big movie buff, so if you want to give us some um, good scary movies for this fall, we would love to hear. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So um, I actually uh, seen Smile, which my review is actually coming up for that very soon. I saw Smile. It is actually way better than I thought it was going to be. Just to be very honest. <laughs> And um, one too many jump scares for me, but outside of that, um, everything was good. And uh, the ending, you'll be like, wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? Here? Really? So, yeah, it's one of those movies that is going to have you on the edge of your seat the whole time because you're going to be trying to figure out what's going on and you're going to be kind of leaning in, and then there's something's going to jump out at you. You're going to be like, wait a minute, what's going on? But yeah, Smile is definitely. Definitely good. Uh, Barbarian is pretty decent. I was able to see that as well. That's another good scary movie. They are dropping like crazy. Uh, Don't Worry Darling has to be the, my least favorite of the three that came out back to back. To back. And I love Chris Pine. I, I absolutely love Chris Pine. And they, they just, it just didn't come together for me. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, but um, I am going to see, like I told y'all before, I am going to see Halloween ends to see exactly how that uh, caps off. And I have been rewatching the first two. Uh, they are right now on Peacock if y'all want to kind of watch them right beforehand. And also, if you have Peacock, you actually don't have to go to the movies for this. They're uh, they're releasing it on Peacock at the same oh, on the same really? day. Yep, yep, yep. So I don't know what they were thinking with it, but hey, I figure I give y'all the news because I have it. <laughs> But I am going to the theaters to see it uh, uh, because I, I'm hoping one day, maybe you guys can help me out, but um, I'm hoping that I can get sponsored by AMC. I do have the AMC membership. So all it is is like 20 bucks a month and you can get you can see three free movies a week. Nice. Very yep. cool. So for a guy like me, it's like awesome because I'm always going. That's um, <laughs> another good movie, if you have kids, of course, is Hotel Transylvania. I love that movie. Monster okay. House is a really good one for kids. Yeah. Um, there is one for young and old uh, that's like Scooby-Doo uh, meets uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is actually pretty funny. Yeah. Um, th that's, that's a pretty good one as well. Um, but right now, I think we're going to be heading, outside of the ones that I mentioned before, we're going to be heading into superhero season. You know, we got Black Adam next week. And then Wakanda Forever, which I think is something everybody's waiting on in November. Yeah. So. But those first, yeah, those first four definitely uh, check out, except for Don't Worry, Darling. I was like, I, yeah. I'd say save your money on that one. Uh, the Terrifier yeah. is out, but eh, don't, I'll say don't waste your money on it <laughs> as of right now. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, thank you so much, Daniel. This has been so much fun. 
Um, so many great drinks. I hope everyone goes out and tries it. Be careful with the fire, of course. Absolutely. Um, set anything on fire or set anybody on fire and don't drink it while it's on fire. And yeah, so thank you so much. We'd love to have you on again and enjoy those boozy doozy drinks, everybody. Yeah, have a good one.